Hello everyone! Kumusta? My name is Che and welcome to my channel, Mabuhay from Philippines. Today, I'm going to pop my new Tulumnias which I showed you in my previous video with my other new orchids. Here they are after more than a week. I usually wait for more than two weeks before I pot or repot new orchids but these are almost bare rooted and I am free today so I am going to pot them. I will use plastic pots, hydroton or leca and sphagnum moss. I have already watered them and now I am going to remove them from their plastic pots. I will remove the name tag first or the ID tag. And now maybe I'll just pull her out from this tiny pot. So this is easy because there is no medium. I'll just remove the old leaves and I'll clean her up later. So this is our first tulumnia. Her leaves are lighter than the other tulumnias. And I think I'll just leave the roots because I am not sure they are very thin. Here's the second one and I will also remove the tag and pull her out from this tiny pot. That was very easy. So, oops. These are two plants. I have two single plants here. I'll just clean her up and I will just plant them together. Here's the other one and I think I need to remove the old fan and I will clean the roots. I will use my sterilized cutter to cut the old fan and I will also remove the dead roots. And if you want to know how to determine whether the roots are dead or alive, <laughs> I have a video where I showed you how to check the roots and clean them. I will link that video in the description. And I'll just finish cleaning this. I'm not sure if I will be able to grow tulumnias well because I am not familiar about them. I've seen videos about them. Most of them were mounted, but I want my orchids to be in the same setup. So I will pot them and this will be an experiment for me. This will be a trial and error. Hopefully not an error. Here's the third one and just like the two, I will also remove the ID tag and pull her out from this tiny plastic pot. And I'll just clean her up and I will show you later. Here's the last one. Here they are after I cleaned them up. I just removed the old leaves and I did cut very few dead roots because um, they are very tiny and I don't want to overdo cutting their roots. Here 
I will use three inch square plastic pots for them and I'm going to hang them so I made holes at the side of the plastic pots. I also added holes at the bottom. I will now plant them so I will add Lekka or Hydroton to the pot first. I will place the Tulumnia at the center because I don't know what the growth pattern will be. And then I will just add more Hydroton. Now I will add a thin layer of sphagnum moss on top. And then I will do the same to the other tulumnias. They are all done and I will just place their tags on their pots now. Here they are and I really hope that they will grow well in this setup. I like to water my orchids every day but I've seen most tulumias are mounted or in a very airy pot so I'll just see if they will grow well, hopefully. And now I will tie or add my nylon string because I am going to hang them in our fence. So I have here a thin nylon wire and I'll just tie it to the holes that I made at the sides. They are all set to be hanged and I will use my S-hooks, the ones that we DIY'd. These are my DIY S-hooks and I will use this to hang my tulumias. I have already placed the S-hooks on our fence and I will just hang the tulumias here.
and here they are they are already hanged in our fence and i love this setup because i am able to save space especially that i have a small garden i just hope that they will grow well i hope that they won't rot i hope that they will flower soon i hope that they will grow well for me thank you for being with me thank you for watching maraming salamat paalam See you on my next videos.